Hey, what is up everybody? So I'm making this video to explain the current location, whereabouts, and what we know about the Infinity Gems, or also known as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Infinity Stones. Now, of course, this is most related to Thanos, the Mad Titan, and why he wants them, what they mean, and uh, what it means for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, of course, we saw him full-on scheming in Guardians of the Galaxy. So as this goes, I'm going to describe the current gems and how they differ from their comic books. So what you're going to see here is the current gems, which we have the Mind Gem, the Reality Gem, Power Gem, the Space Gem, Time Gem, and the Soul Gem. Now in the movies, you will see a difference from what they are in the comic to what they are in the cinematic universe. And we're going to begin with the Power Gem, which is of course the newest one, which we saw in Guardians of the Galaxy. And of course, we know it's the Power Gem, of course, James Gunn himself confirmed it, but we also saw the way its power was used, especially by Ronin, where it could destroy whole planets. The whereabouts of it are located on Xandar, being handled by the Nova. Now, of course, we know that if Thanos is going to get them, he's probably going to have to attack Nova and Xandar at some point. So this could be potentially what the threat is going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And this is one, going to be one of the more important gems we're going to be talking about in the future. The next one is going to be the Tesseract, and also that is the Space Gem, because we saw how it manipulates space. And we of course get a hint of this in Captain America the First Avenger, when the Red Skull handles it and he's teleported somewhere else. And the whereabouts of it are on Asgard. Now this is where it gets tricky, because and seeing how it's on Asgard, it should be safe. Until of course the ending of Thor The Dark World, where we see that now Loki is pretending to be Odin. So that means another one for Thanos and his legions. Now the next gem we're going to talk about is the Mind Gem. And this one was of course seen in Avengers, manipulating Hawkeye and attempting to manipulate Tony Stark. Now the last time we saw this, was at the end of the Winter Soldier when we see Baron Von Strucker and he's using the Mind Gem to try to unlock the power of the human mind hence how we're going to have the miracles now what they're going to do with this we don't clearly know except we do know that Hydra does have it in their possession we clearly know that they're bad guys and we have heard rumors that Thanos will be appearing in Avengers 2 in some capacity so how Ultron and everything ties in this I guess we'll find out coming up soon and the last one we've seen is of course going to be the Reality Gem, as seen in Thor The Dark World. And this is of course the Aether, and uh, you know, its powers of course due to the bending of the realities and everything, we know that this is that. And leading up to where it is, the Collector has it in his collection. Now, the Collector could potentially be working for Thanos, or he could be recruited with him in the future. We don't know currently, we don't know how that's going to go, but it does tie into something very important in the future. Because and now we have two gems left over. One, the Time Gem, which has been rumored to be either in Avengers 2 or it could be possibly in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Either way they use it, the Time Gem of course bends time and space. And this is the most important gem because once added to the Infinity Gauntlet, you can of course reshape history. You can do anything with it. So this one is going to have a big payoff somewhere down the road. Now, the most likely next one we are going to see is Guardians of the Galaxy 2 will be the Soul Gem. And its main purpose will probably be to tie in Adam Warlock. Now, Adam Warlock is, of course, one of the fan favorites members of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And the Soul Gem is, of course, huge, especially in part with how he deals with his powers and everything. The important thing here is at the end of Thor The Dark World, when we're in the Collector's Collection, we see Adam Warlock's cocoon. Now, in Guardians of the Galaxy, when his shop is messed up, we don't know if Adam Warlock has potentially broke out of the cocoon, or if Guardians 2 could potentially deal with them trying to rescue the, him because they know of the threat and why Thanos needs all the Infinity Gems. Either way we look at it, something big is going to be in the payoff here, and it's all going to lead eventually into Avengers 3 and Thanos eventually wielding the gauntlet and everything we've seen. So currently, the whereabouts of all the gems, the Power Gem is on Xandar, the Mind Gem is in possession of Hydra and Baron Von Strucker, the Space Gem is in possession of Loki, aka Fake Odin, and the Reality Gem is in possession of the Collector. Although we never found out if he lost it during what happened in Guardians of the Galaxy at the end when, you know, his shop and everything explodes. Hopefully that's explained in a one shot, and we should know some details regarding the future of the rest of the gems sometime soon, 
Hopefully Avengers 2 sheds more light on it and we see another gem in there. Hey guys, Joel here reminding you that this video was made possible thanks to our many great patrons. If you want to become a patron and get exclusive comic book cast content, then click the Patreon link below and see how you can help us bring you the content you've come to love. Every little bit helps and thanks for listening.